welcome to Mocha in the Morning. Good we are back morning. For season two, I am your host, Keisha Boyd, and my lovely co-host, my cafe con leche. Hey. <laughs> Don't stop. Yes, ah. officially, Jorge. <laughs> we are so, so happy to be back for season two. We have so much to talk to you about, so much to catch up. I know. Right? What but, a fabulous... First of all, it's just awesome yes. to even like be back. Yes, right? it is. I mean, we got lots and lots of great feedback from our first season, and so we are looking to do an even better season this season with you. And look forward to engaging more and doing some great things. Yeah, we want to know, like, what did you do last summer? Yes, but... <laughs> but first, coffee. Coffee. <laughs> All right, so we are back, and we just want to take a moment to just refresh and <sighs> reflect. Yes. How was your summer? It was super, super fabulous. As usual. Uh, partly because you were in it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no oh, screen man. time, just no. like fun time. Yes, fun but time. like some work time too. So, um, gosh, it all went by so fast though. It did. Yeah. I mean, it's already fall. Yeah. Already fall. Mm -hmm. We had some great time this summer, vacationing and experiencing. I think things. I need to see what we did this summer. Yes, let's see. I think I need to see what we all did this summer. Take a look. <laughs> We have something to share with you. We are now a part of Identity Tampa Bay, the Identity Tampa Bay. We will be one of your new shows there. A new audience will join us. So not only do we have our Mocha in the Morning family, but we will also have a new family with the Identity Tampa Bay. And we're so happy to have them. Hey, Identity Tampa Bay. Hey. So happy to be part of that family. And don't yes. forget, um, you'll, you'll be able to watch us on Identity Tampa Bay, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. That's right. Mocha in the morning. We're so, so happy. Now, let's jump right in. Yes, I know. There's some things that are steaming, and we want to yes. talk about them. Hot and steamy. Ooh. First of all, yes. uh, one of the st major stories that are out mm -hmm. uh, that's bubbling up, and we've actually talked about this before. Four. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, the town in Eatonville in Central Florida yep. that, of course, was dealing with the pollution problem and people, people being poisoned by the carbon monoxide. Well, come to find out, that's actually a much larger issue than mm -hmm. it is like regionally. Mm -hmm. um, and so Huffington Post came out with a main story about uh, another town in Uniontown in Alabama. Yeah. And uh, it just seems that uh, large corporations and factories are picking the smaller, more, uh, the, the poor black towns yeah. to be able to kind of just dispense you, all of their pollution because, you know, everyone is not aware that right. they're there because they're on that struggle. Correct. And it just seems as if those communities are disposable anyway. Right. And and I, I've watched quite a few, you know, specials and features on it. And it is it's really sad, you know, when you see a, a population of people dying off mm -hmm. because of cancer or other related diseases because these 
communities are just engulfed with pollution mm -hmm. and are just disregarded. Yeah. And it's 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 pretty just it's just sad. Well the thing is Flint is no small town, right? It and sure they isn't. still have a huge clean water issue. Mm -hmm. So for me, thinking like another company can do this to a smaller town. Right. It's like wow, but it's like hitting the radar. It is. Because it's it like is. it's small towns everywhere. And these companies and corporations need to take action. Mm -hmm. They just cannot dispose of people this way or treat them as if they are that disposable because people need to be respected. I know, absolutely. You, well, know? you, you just have to have clean water. Just really clean, in. just, just, just the on. basic things. Just well, the basics. Speaking of taking action. Yes. Uh, a young lady by the name of Jamel Hill. Hey girl, who, hey. Right. <laughs> uh, who of course was one of the anchors of one of the ESPN shows. Right. Well, stories coming out that uh, part of her, um, Dismiss. a, yeah, dismissal. Uh, her exit yeah. uh, was race related. You know how we say, is this about race? Well, hmm. apparently, it is. I mean, are we surprised? Uh, no, but it's funny because, like, the thing is, you watch ESPN and they have so many different colorful, People, you know, yeah. Yeah, shows and anchors and whatever. Yeah. I, I don't, I, I'm still trying to figure out, like, why her? I think there's more to this story. Well, you know what? Absolutely, there's more to this story, but she was very outspoken mm -hmm. with um, when talking about 45. Mm -hmm. And, I mean,. You gotta check who's behind these networks. Yeah, I know. What dollars are behind them? Mm -hmm. Who's running them? Who's the leadership, you know, connected to? And the things that she said, it could have been very easily like, um Right. You no, know what I mean? Uh, like yeah. you know what I mean? It's so that kind of it's that kind of world right now. It is that kind of world. So we'll we'll definitely be paying attention. I mean I, I love Jamel Hill mm -hmm. and I I definitely think that she will have an opportunity to go and use her talents elsewhere and I pray and hope that um, this situation does not, you know, stop her from from soaring in the way that she should so those are my steamers yes for all of you this week check them out because i'm sure they're going to lead into bigger stories later absolutely stay tuned for pipe and hop we'll be right back we'll be right back mocha in the morning is brought to you in part by the portico cafe where conversation connection and community create change and we are back with piping hot Man, do we have a lot for you. <laughs> and today, we are joined with our favorite pediatrician. Hello, Miss Seely. How are you? <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good. And also joining us, the girl we like to kick it with. How are you, Kia? I'm great. How are you? I miss you guys. I know. It's been a hot minute. I know. <laughs> we miss you, too. We're so glad to have you guys back. We're going to jump right into these piping hot topics mm. and talk about what's what's sizzling over in our world today so first starting with our buddy lemonade lemonade don <laughs> lemon okay so i've seen so much you know going on on social media about kanye west oh excuse me he's not kanye west anymore he's just yeah. Ye, yay. Is that what He's I'm about like, to be knows? good and cancel with the community though. Yeah. Super cancel. I just you know it's like I don't even want to talk about Kanye West, but I would love to talk around Kanye yes, West. Yes, <laughs> my God. So Don Lemon <laughs> uh, provided some comeback on his Saturday Night Live visit. He said and, BS yes, that. He said BS on Live air. air on the air, talking about Kanye's rant in support of Donald Trump and how uncomfortable it was for everybody in the audience at Saturday Night Live after, you know, he's talking about, you know, pro-Trump and had his Amer Make America make Great hat, Make America Great Again hat on, which is yeah. crazy. But check out the video. Yeah. We'll come back and talk this, about yeah. it. And we're not going to play a long video because we got to keep it short. Short. <laughs> okay, so it was very uncomfortable. Uh, the host was Adam Driver. He left the stage. You could see the cast members were, some of them were like, just had their heads down. Um, they don't let you leave the show until it's over, and that's 1 a.m. Eastern. This went on after the show, and people wanted to get up, including us, because we didn't want to listen to that bullshit, and they wouldn't let us out. What do you make of that? You know, believe it or not, I'm not even up that late on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can imagine. And especially that night. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Kia, tell me what do you think about that. I think it's kind of sad because he actually went out there and said in front of the entire cast. So for people who don't know, the cast doesn't normally stay. Once the show wraps, they kind of go off to the after party and do their own thing. 
he called everybody back on stage and started his rant and started saying that the people backstage were bullying him. And Michael Shea, who's the head writer there, said, in regards to Kanye, we stood there listening to that N-word lie and complain about and F on us, embarrass himself only because that's how dope he thinks he is. So, I don't know. Celie, what about you? I, I just, I would like to say I'm surprised, but, you know, this is par for the course. I think it's a bigger, you know, I think we need to start looking at who is inviting him to these spaces because we know that he's going to become unhinged. It's not like he hasn't proven it time and again, so we shouldn't be surprised. Absolutely. No, but you know what, though? Um, what I'm not surprised is Don Lemon's ratings. Hey! Hey! So, hey. Um, that's how, that's how I'm talking about lemonade. Yes. Kanye's mess. But I'm so happy that Don Lemon has awesome ratings. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> he just uninvited to the cookout altogether. Just all together. Yeah. But That's moving so on, let's talk about Simone Sanders, okay? Yes. Moving into from one CNN correspondent to the next. Um, Simone Sanders is talking about how she can relate in this, this, this Brett Kavanaugh situation, his accuser situation. Which, you know, among, you know, Simone Sanders, there are many women out there who can, who can relate, who've been in this situation. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's quite the conversation yeah. that we're having around this. Well, and the thing is, um, I, I don't understand why anyone thinks this is like a new thing, Correct. you know, and it's frustrating, it's mm -hmm. upsetting, and she's one of my favorites, uh, mm -hmm. who always is on CNN. Mm -hmm. Believe her, you know. You think there's no chance. This is what, you, this you, is what think, I you are convinced by one allegation I'm convinced, and I'm, about I'm something that happened Bill 35 Crystal, years ago. This is ago. why I'm convinced. I'm convinced, Let's, Jake, because I tweeted about this the other day. But when I was in college, I was intoxicated, and a man who I had pre previously rebuffed his advances multiple times took advantage of the fact that I could not consent one night. And the next day, he denied raping me, but that's exactly what he did. I didn't get a chance to see her response, but I've seen how she's been during the Kavanaugh hearings and her reactions and. As a Republican, I'm I'm a little I'm a little over her, so don't run me over. But you know, I I I, I kind of see that she's kind of taking the same stance, and she's kind of expressed how her um, where her situation plays into everything. But I don't know if I can speak for everybody, or I can speak for myself at least. It's a, the whole Me Too movement has become a little bit overwhelming, and it's almost like can you trust any man on the planet? Is every man just disgusting? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, okay. 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 Well, I mean, I, I, I think that it, it's becoming overwhelming because it's it it's is being exposed. it's being exposed and rapidly. Yeah. It's kind of like take you know catching no fire. Apologies, so yeah. with no apologies, and these women uh, should be able to to express themselves, and you know, just like anything that we don't want to hear pay attention to we tune it out but it's here and it's not going anywhere yeah, and i we, just hope that it makes a difference in we bringing justice yeah. well not only that but talk about um you know that you know you brought up you know the k guy yeah uh for me he's like missing like two k's but mm -hmm, whatever mm -hmm. um did well, okay. you see though the stank face Alyssa milano had sitting there during his uh one of his hearings yeah <laughs> yeah or doing like the hearing she was not for it <laughs> at all she was like no oh. i'm no at all Kia, did you see it i did see it and it's so funny because when they i watched it live from my office and i didn't notice her it wasn't until some playbacks and they were like well listen to what he said at this moment i was like is that is that the girl from charm <laughs> Why is she? <laughs> I was completely confused. Look, she's the boss. She's a so, and the thing is, she's not a newbie to this. I've been mm -hmm. clocking her, and she's no. super, super active. So it wasn't like she was there to front or to yeah. show face. Like she's been on the ground with this particular situation. So and she's actually been great. more political altogether. Um, she's mm -hmm. also come to Florida and helped out with Andrew yeah. Gillum's campaign. She's been um, a keynote speaker at the Women's March. She's done a lot of stuff. She's gotten a lot of way political. I just thought it was interesting that she was there. And for the record, she did get into a little bit of trouble because she tried to take a picture during the hearing, which you're not supposed to do, but they did let her stay. So You know what, though? There are a lot of people at that hearing that did things that they're not supposed to do. So I'm going to let her slide. I'm trying to take that picture. 
You know? Right. But let's give a standing O oh, though, a standing to o. the woman who is is vindicated yes. and will be the hero. Anita and Hill. Thank you very much. So Miss Anita Hill. Like this is okay, so this is like deja vu, right? Anita mm -hmm. Hill, Clarence Thomas, you know, and how much they ridiculed her um during this time when Clarence Thomas was, you know, trying to get his self confirmed. So I you know, Anita Hill, we are here for you, girl. And we are here for all that you stood for then and, and what's happening now and your role that you played is that. What do you, what do you, what do you do well, to that? Well, you know what? I'm glad we're talking about this because we had a prior conversation in pre-production when we were talking about Anita Hill. And I would, it, it was a statement that you made mm -hmm. about when the whole Anita Hill thing and Clarence Thomas was going on, there were a lot of people in the community of color mm -hmm. who just wanted a person of color mm -hmm. on that exactly. seat. Yeah. And you kind of, they bypassed everything else, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you said, well, at that point we were, uh, uh, we were seeking representation. That's right. But now we're seeking... Informed. Yes! And I was yes. living the rest of the day for that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, at the, it's true. We wanted, we wanted a seat at the table. We wanted to be represented. At that point, it may not have been good or bad, or we kind of overlooked something because we just wanted to have someone there. But now we're at a point where we want someone there. We want someone that is informed, who has good intention, who will represent us well. It's just not all about having a seat at the table, but having the right person at that seat. So, exactly. or in that seat. So, yeah. I think Michael Shea kind of said it best. I mean, during his own weekend, I think he said it the best. Of all the white men on the planet who are judges, who are Republicans, why this guy? You yeah. all have Neil Gorsuch, who's an amazing jurist. It's great. So if this guy is so problematic, pick another white guy. There's a lot right. of them. There's a lot this of them. Just true. pick another right. one. Why are you guys hanging your hat on this guy that is so problematic? It doesn't make any sense. Well, I don't yeah, get it. Yeah, there was, there's stuff and shenanigans going on in the background. But, um, you know, I just think that we need to do our best to be global citizens. Yes. Like one of my favorite global citizens. Who that was an amazing segue, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's why I do this. Uh, who is demanding equality, hmm. right? Okay. And what we need to do is take some action. Take some action. But only if you nasty. You know what? <laughs> Well, go ahead and talk about it then. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just, I mean, Janet Jackson is like winning, 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 even <laughs> when the CBS executive tried to ruin her career. Mm. Look at her now. Look right. at her now. Getting paper. <laughs> I mean, it's Janet Jackson. Yeah. She's, I mean... She has full control. Right. You can go all day. Okay, let's stop with the music. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go to this video really quick. <laughs> A mess. Look. Like millions of other women out there, I know about bullying. I know about verbal abuse. I know about physical abuse. I know about abuse of authority. I'm sick, I'm repulsed, I'm infuriated by the double standards that continue to threat women as second-class citizens. Enough, you guys, enough. Enough injustice, enough bigotry, mistreatment, and mindless prejudice has to stop and stop now. Equality is our demand. Action is our answer. Let's go. I, I can't get enough. <laughs> I mean, Janet has been very vocal mm -hmm. lately. I know, I remember watching videos where she did a whole like shy thing yeah. and not say much, but now she's just like, um, this is the tea. That's right. Well, they say once you hit a certain age, it's like, like huh, so. I give two, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I said what I said. Mm. You know? So. Yeah. I don't like how Cardi B is no. on Instagram. <laughs> Saying all she wants to say. Listen, right. Kia, did you have something you want to say about that? 
Well, about Janet Jackson, I will say, what does she have to lose? She got, has a beautiful baby she always wanted. She got her ex-husband for what? Three hundred million or some crazy amount like that. Five. It was five. <laughs> I mean, who cares if someone's trying to ruin her career? She feels good on the back end. If I was her, I'd be oh saying God. the same thing. Like y'all have nothing on the coins that I have. Let's okay. do Okay, nothing. <laughs> well, all right. Let's talk well, let's about. Talk about the, let's talk about the cuffs. The I'm cuffs. The cuffs of Cardi B. <laughs> Listen. First of all, Cardi B. There, there are two things I want to talk about. One. The girl looked like she was stepping on a runway coming out the jail. Look, Marilyn okay? Marilyn. <laughs> she was Did like, she not Janet? look like a black Marilyn Monroe? Did, By the way, that's the exact same outfit Marilyn Monroe wore on the set of The Prince and the Showgirl back in the 50s when that movie was filmed. That's now that people know that. Yeah. Yeah. did that. I like the whole photo. Like oh. the cops are fanning all <laughs> She was like, I am not a damsel in distress. Okay, I am good. She looked great. But you know what? The thing I want to point out is that Within the last, what, month, she's been in the headlines for negative things, mm-hmm. you know, with the, the, yes. the Nicki Minaj situation, with this situation. She's 25, just had a baby, just got married, on the top of the charts, like, just riding mm-hmm. this great way. I do not, and I pray that she does not allow herself to to be over, her. things like this overshadow all the greatness that she's mm-hmm. doing. She had to fight and, 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 and grind and for this. And strip all that, but to get to the top where she is, that I don't want to, I don't want t- her tarnish so much about this silly stuff. Like, why are you throwing? Ch- if she's alleged, allegedly she <laughs> threw chairs and bottles um, at a few bartenders, and, you know. But there's I, video with the with the with the Minaj situation that yeah, happened. Yeah. So I just want her to be the great woman of color that she is. You know, Kia. Well, again, not to be into the trashy gossip, but that's what I bring to this show. (laughs) (laughs) That that is why you're here, baby. That's why we kick it with you. (laughs) Yeah, so what what happened was these two uh, bartenders from the strip club are girls she used to work with and who are claiming that they slept with her husband. And she Mm. was just over it. And that's when she went to the club and she put up a chair and threw it and, and they got into an altercation and she got those two girls fired. The problem with Cardi B is She's still Cardi B from when she was on Love and Hip Hop recording on Instagram playing around. She hasn't realized 100% that I now can't be old stripper Cardi B. I have to be rapper, fashionista, global icon Cardi B. She hasn't separated these two people yet. She's still going back to the Bronx and being Cardi B who's like, I will take these earrings off in this lace front and we can do it right now. And that's what happened with the Nicki Minaj thing. Nicki Minaj has gone into the whole, well, I'm a superstar thing. Cardi B is still like, girl, I will beat your ass here in front of all these people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kia, yeah. I, I, yeah. t- I see you, but like, <laughs> I want her to be like, what, Nicki? Let's, let, we are sight. Right. But you know what? To your point, Kia, I think that's why she has the fan base that she has mm. because she hasn't changed. Right. Absolutely. And I don't think she wants to. Right. I just think, like, just don't be messing with her. Yeah. Like, don't yeah, do you it. You know who she is, but she does have to have some self, you know, she control. Does. She yeah. has to I think that's a Dominican in her. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> All that, like, adobo. Oh, my goodness. And... All right, and wrapping <laughs> up, our, our piping Hot segment is um, Melania Trump. She, oh, um, she went to Africa. Yeah, she was missing the rains She was Africa. missing the rain. <laughs> I can't with you. I just can't. <laughs> like, Tell us about her trip. That's <laughs> like, I don't even want to talk about her. First of all, can we talk about her dress? Uh, is mean, it ta- to be talked? Is it worth? Well, you, you know, first of all, you know how they say, like, drawing the red line <laughs> at some point? Right. She. Uh, it's too many red it's lines. Too many red- it's too many red lines. Like, who, oh who let her step off the plane? And said, girl, you cute. The- <laughs> And I, I truly don't even know what the whole, like, she's no Princess Diana. You can't be, I, I don't get yeah. it. I, I don't understand. Although I think it's, I think it's fantastic, the, the all the images of Melania. She's holding all these beautiful babies, you know, all beautiful black babies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder what her, what her man thinks about that. Child. <laughs> what man? <laughs> Kia. Yes, Kia. Would you have loved to have been on that flight to Ghana? With Flotus. Um, I would have loved to be on that flight because she needs a better team around her. Um, this this trip was just basically to get her out of the state so that she has something to do and looks like she's just not sitting there rolling her eyes at her husband calling her <laughs> dumbass all day long. So they had to get her something. What's better than African babies? 
Tinder ah! there? My God. Oh my God. Now that you say that. Let's go to Africa. That and she's there. And don't get me wrong. She's very, she's pretty. She's nice. She's doing a good job. She's kissing kids and all that kind of stuff. But it's really a pointless trip. There is no yeah. substance behind this trip outside of she has to get out of the White House. She has to be doing something. And I don't but mind it's it. not genuine. It's, it's just, just yeah, not I genuine. Mean, but I it's not genuine, because, but it's not like, bad. I don't even really want to even say that. I don't, I, don't, I don't even think we know who this woman is, like, for yeah. real. Right. I think nope. that's the problem. Like, we don't know what kind of a person she really is behind all of the naked pictures. Well, just to give you guys a little bit of tea that most people in the journalism world kind of know is that she's been offered interviews by multiple magazines. Multiple of magazines. Course. to do full frame stuff, cover sheets, everything she's been offered. Because everybody's always saying, well, she doesn't, doesn't get the same attention as Michelle. That's not true. The problem is they have to submit questions for the interview. They submit the question to the office, and the office mm. declines the interview. You can't just have a bunch of pictures with her without an interview. So right. if she can't, if the magazine can't ask these key questions, then there's no point of having her on the cover, and that's why yeah. she's not getting the kind of attention that I kind of think she deserves because she can't answer key questions about her marriage, her husband, her family because they're a bunch of psychopaths. Like who? Right. I, that's a kid. Who wants but, to read an, an interview about you know my husband's basically Norman Bates? Like no one wants to read that. <laughs> Yeah, I am not checking it out. I'm not checking it out. No, 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 misery. Oh my gosh, Kia. As always, girl, you definitely. Yes. We love you. We love kicking it with you, and girl. We miss you. Oh, thank, thank you. We'll see you I next you guys. week. Honey. I cannot wait to see you guys next week. Love you. <laughs> Bye. She's Bye. a mess. <laughs> I need a sip after all that. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Thank you for joining us. You're watching Mocha in the Morning. We're happy that you're here. And uh, this week's a Mocha Moment. Now, everyone can participate in the Mocha Moment. If you don't know what a Mocha Moment is, that's when you see a beautiful life experience happening yes. with anyone of any color. Yes. So make sure to send it to us at Mocha Morning Show, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, because we want to share, share your Mocha Moments. But this week, the Mocha Moment belongs to the GOAT, Serena Williams yes, she is. singing and being all naked and fabulous and <sighs> all for breast cancer awareness. We're going to play you this little clippy clip. Take a look. I love myself. I want you to love me. When I feel down, I want you above me. I search myself. I want you to find me I forget myself I want you to remind me I don't want anybody else When I think about you I touch myself Oh, I don't want anybody else Oh no, oh no Think I would die if you were to ignore me Like my house is yes. decorated like Jenna Jackson's video. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family. This has been Mocha in the Morning, where we're adding a little bit of flavor to your morning blend. I am, once again, your host, Keisha Boyd. And this is my wonderful co-host, Officially Jorge. We've certainly enjoyed you today and look forward to having you all season long. If you want more Coffee Talk, mm. just go right to our YouTube page. You can follow us on all of our handles, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Mocha Morning Show. And we look forward to talking and being right there with you. Because you know you want another cup. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> See you. See you next hey. time. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs>